Hey, what's good? It's Rocknet, and we are back playing Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. Um, playing legit on a Game Boy Advance player on my GameCube, which I have wired to an adapter that is like, you know, putting it through to my monitor. And so, uh, hopefully there's no weird lag issues when I record this, because, uh, that's what the last time I tried to do it. Anyway, here we go. We're going forward. We had just beaten Kraid. We cleaned out his lair of everything that I know of that I could think to find. And I shot through and, you know, found all the stuff and everything. So we're going to go ahead and get back moving. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, this is new. Ooh, that definitely wasn't like that before. <laughs> Okay. This is extremely cool. I like it. How the wall fell apart and then like that was dope. And an elevator with enemies in it. Uh that's unusual. Alright. Uh we still have not gotten some key items, but I'm pretty sure we gotta get. Namely the high jump boost because we jump super low still. Uh various suit. Because we hate fire still. Which way do I want to go here? From here. Can I go to crazy here from here? Do you get power bombs in this game? I don't remember. Actually. Like legit, I don't remember. Oh. Can't go up there, but you can see. I see, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, you do get power. To answer that question really fast, you do get power bombs in this game. And that probably leads down to a bomb uh, shooter that will shoot you through that ceiling, which is probably speed boost bomb or speed boost uh, walls. And you can get the elevator back to criteria. Okay. Okay. That's clever. It doesn't really explain how she got down here from there, but you know, it's science and shit. Uh, oh, I, didn't, I didn't aim up. I didn't aim up again. Skirt, hang on. Nope, 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 nope. So, here's what we're gonna do. You gonna die. You gonna die, but you. You gonna die too because you take one hit. Are you serious? I need something else in here so I can go get this. I'm gonna wall jump it. I can't wall jump it. Oh, that. You clever gooses. Okay, so I can't just get that regularly. I probably want to get high jump or something. There's no enemy for me to freeze. They die. They die in one hit. Can I turn off beams? Is that a thing? I doubt it. No, they 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 combine. Damn. <laughs> well, that ain't that special. They die in one hit. You Rudy Pool candy. Asses. And yeah, there's no way I can get that. That's a bomb jump. It. I might be the bomb jump. It. Got it. Wow. I bomb jumped it. I have not done bomb jumping 
in a long time. Uh, I feel proud <laughs> that I bomb jumped that. All right, well, uh, let's see. All right, guess I'll save over here. Man, if I look at this later and it didn't record or something happened to the recording, I'm gonna throw my monitor because I just did. I just bomb jumped. I haven't bomb jumped in forever. I think it's easier in this game though too. It felt way easier. I didn't even, like really have to precisely time it like that. So I think they made a lot of stuff like that easier in this game, which uh, me and I was talking about before. Um, why he likes this game over Fusion, which I could see it. Like I don't think this is a bad game or anything. I, and I'm not even sure with Fusion. I'm not sure why it's my favorite so much since it's like it's much more linear than the other games. Um, even more so than like Metroid 2. But I love Fusion. I, I don't know what it was. It was it was fantastic. Um, where am I going actually? Because I'm just like kind of running around, running my mouth. Oh, right here. Okay, we're good. Is there anything else up here I can't, I couldn't get? Oh, I can go up there. I should be able to go up there. Technically, theoretically, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, a lot. There was a lot more freedom in like tech and whatnot in this game, so it wasn't as locked down as uh, like Fusion was. Even though obviously speedrunners and whatnot have found ways around that stuff which is pretty was awesome to watch i should mention too i know i haven't mentioned before but i love um watching speedruns of games so even though i play games on a very casual level aside from like fighting games fighting games i play very seriously and i don't um i tend to not take those casually those are the games that i sit down and you know study all the stuff for and whatnot but i think that helps me admire like uh speed running like communities more because my god man some of the stuff they do in the games i'm just like wow i I'm always like astounded by it. There's a mistake up here. Ah, is there anything else up here? Hey, there's a hole right here. Hey, this is going places. Oh, um, do I want to go here? Probably not. But I will, just because I can. That was a cool map exit. I like it. I love when maps do stuff like that and loop around in like or unexpected places. I always enjoy that. So. Any Metroid game that does that is already like up there in my book. Or any like Metroidvania, quote unquote, you know, Castlevania games. Which reminds me too, that's another subject. Oh my goodness. Castlevania. Can we please I was talking about this with uh friends of mine at work. Uh one of which is uh Sword Punk. The other one being Don Wulong, who I also work with and play cross second like a lot with. Uh -huh. but anyway, we were talking, man. I just oh playing Metroid right now is reminding me like, man. Castlevania is another series that really benefited from this type of gameplay, and I miss the fact I missed that. Uh, I miss those games, man. I want to play Order of Ecclesia. Uh, matter of fact, I'm probably gonna borrow from Don sometime soon, so Don be on look out for that. But anyway, I want to play Order of Ecclesia, but the problem is I can't record it, so I get like you know, a dad to put on my dang on 3DS. It's kind of a problem, so I want to get that going. I'm gonna actually that's one of my goals, like to get the uh, cash card to my 3DS. So I start really recording Monster Hunter and stuff too. I've been playing Monster Hunter a little bit, but not a lot. So it's not like I've really gotten far. I'm just making, and right now, by the way, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything in here per se. I think I gotta go to the right some more. Um, before I go down to North Fair, because now that I got speed boost, probably some stuff I can get that I normally couldn't get. Can I skip? Nope. It's not even anything there. Alright. Okay, gang, you want me to go up here? Fine, I'll go up here. Hey, I can freeze this thing. And blow it up. That's pretty cool. I like it. Just freeze the whole nest. I don't have to worry about them. But uh, yeah, man, I miss Castle Game of Games. But being really like, I I like the Metroidvania games, but overall, I tend to like the Castlevania like stage-based games more. So if anything, I really want to see another Castlevania game. It's just like, hey, here's a stage. At the end of the stage, you fight Frankenstein's monster. Here's another stage, and at the end of the stage, you fight the mummy you know i miss those days of castlevania and that's probably the old nostalgia you know guy in me or whatever but it really i just oh i think california got too far away from what it really was which is supposed to be campy maybe i'm wrong maybe it's not supposed to be campy it's always supposed to be it's so serious as it got with like lord of Sh or lords of shadow and whatnot man but or even like the, the ds games as good as they were i felt like they took themselves too seriously i miss the days of like castlevania being like some one dude one girl from the belmont family going and just killing stuff with their whip <laughs> like get back to the basics and stop trying to make these elaborate you know plot schemes for these games but i digress that's that's me complaining to complain. i can do this i can totally do this um i need him to get over here soon but i can do this Ugh. 
Yeah, I don't think they give me enough to work with here. I don't know what's up here. I just want to get up here now because it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge I've given myself. I should have enough of a footstool right here to do it. Nah, I don't. All right, never mind. Clearly, I'm not meant to be up there yet. So whatever's up there, I can't get yet. All right, so let's go down here and go to North Fair. Let's stop wasting time because I'm already probably like four hours in. This is a map room. We don't even here. I'm wasting time. Time is money. You wasting my time over here, boy. Wait, is there? Huh? I don't know. It looked like it might be bombable. But I'm, I was wrong. I was wrong. But yeah. I don't know what got me on that point about Castlevania other than talking about Metroid and then thinking of Metroid and then I was like, oh yeah, Castlevania, I haven't ran about that, yeah, but I digress. They're starting to play Metroid now too, which I hope they can fix with the next game, like, you know, I get it, you want to give, I have no problem giving Samus, like, more of a personality, things like that. I don't mind Zero, or Zero Suit Samus and Brawl, at, or Brawl in a Smash 4 at all, I think she's fine as, as is. I think with what I've seen of Other M, which is... Hey, by the way, I've hesitated to play that game for a reason. Um, from what I've seen of it, I don't like what they did to her in those games because they... It's like, on, on one side, I see what they're trying to give her more personality. They tried to make her not, like, such a, you know, a brick wall, but she never really was. I mean, like, Fusion was a really good depiction of her, like, giving her a backstory, you know, or not giving her, she always had a backstory, but giving her more of a, a balanced character and give her more emotion without, like, resorting to, all, like, what they did to when fusion and making her helpless at times and yeah yeah uh, why am I down here why am I down here at all I have no idea why I'm down here this is the wrong way complete this is the wrong way completely it's all good it's wasting time I started running my mouth <laughs> uh, anyway but yeah they're getting away from what like really made Metroid Metroid or made Samus Samus and from what made Metroid, Metroid with other M. I, but I get other M. It was like, you know, it seemed like it's more of an experimental game to see what they can do with the uh, series and taking different directions. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they're trying to do. I don't know. I don't know. Not for me to really judge. It ain't my game. I'm just a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully... Oh, oh I'm good. I can just run down here. I need to be up there anyway. Oh, I thought I shot the opening. I'm like, why is the door still closed? Uh, No, I don't want to go that way either. Alright, so go through here. There's some those flies. Here we go. God, there's a lot of like bugs. I need y'all all to die. It's gonna kill you all. You can reduce that's fine, but you got my way. Anyway, before I start crying about a game I haven't played yet again, that game being, of course, Other M. I've not played Other M at all myself. I've just I've seen bits and pieces of the playthrough, and it looks it looks like an alright game, but I, I don't like the idea of like automatic stuff being so prevalent which seems to be like the main issue that people have with the game and I'm not a fan of that either of like press A to awesome I'm not a fan of that that style of gameplay so I can see other M kind of turning me off like it's okay in certain areas like with Bayonetta or with like uh, I think I think Platinum does a good job of balancing it where it's not like you're just mindlessly pressing A or pressing B or whatever to like do all these crazy things that automatically happen. You have to time stuff in, in Bayonetta. You have to time stuff in uh, Wonderful 101. You have to time stuff in, in all those, in all good action games like that. Whereas it seems like in other M, it's just like you have to press, you know, press dodge and it just dodges stuff for you. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody to play other M can probably correct me on that. I'm not sure. Uh, that's just what I've been not only told, but what I've kind of observed. So uh, let me know. Let me know how wrong I am. I think I need to do this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Well, it would have worked, whatever. <laughs> it would have worked, but I messed it up, so it's, it's whatever. I can just go over this anyway, so it's not. Uh, yeah. I want to try it, but the intro did it. I took a lot of hits right there. Hoo wee! Well, how's it for the yawning? It is early in the morning. I didn't sleep all that great the night before. I won't go into why, except to say it's medical related, but it's all good. I'm still here, still alive. It's important. How do I get there? That's as important. How do I get there? Uh. Q. 
like, yes, I made it, okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can get up here, but I wasn't 100% sure. I'm like, please don't fall. That would suck. We're still recording. We're still good. Yeah. All right. I got speed through here. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you, pimp. So good security check. Let's just run through this real quick. No speed. Wow. All kind of speed checks. Okay. Oh God, it's the dragons. Uh, hi. I do not like. Why is this door green? Can't open that. I know what that is. I know what that is. Do you know what that is? I know what that is. I shoot all these. Okay. Which means they want me to speed through here. Very obvious, but you know, gotta say that sometimes. There we go. Well, but I know what our next power is gonna be. Probably can't get up there. They did a good job of blocking off certain stuff too. They're like, you can't make this uh this wall jump. We're gonna make sure that these guys, I forget what they're called. I always forget what they're called. They are annoying. That one's a different color. We need him to die. High jump! I knew we were gonna get him somewhere. <laughs> Maximum jump height. As morph. Oh, we can jump in morph ball now. Yeah, buddy. Um, I feel like we shouldn't be doing that yet. <laughs> Since, you know, we went in the room and started losing life immediately, that's a very super room for sure. Okay, but that does mean, if I'm right, oh yeah, we can get up here now. Missile. Roll on down here. We can do it fully explore Norfair now. My word. Norfair has gotten much larger. Which makes sense since it's like, you know, Bryn, like the twin of Brinstar. Basically. Basically. We gotta go back out. Oh, good lord. Okay, now we got high jump. We can make it up there. I got gotcha. you. That's cute. That's real cute. I like that. We gotta go all the way back up there. Uh, this is bombable. It's not bombable. It looked bombable. It's got a crack in it. You see that crack right there. I know you do. You see that crack. You see that darn crack. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Make sure I'm not missing any. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm missing anything there, but that's alright. It's okay. Let's go. Ew. That's cool. Oh. Um. I wasn't done yet before y'all kicked me all the way up. Damn it. I'm all the way up here. I didn't think it was going to go that high. They put me in like, yep, you're out. Going back up there. All right. This is the other part of Metroid that you got to remember. Back of tracking. Oh, and I do leave somewhere. Okay. Alright, so we gotta go here. Wait, is this an item room? Yeah, no, we in the wrong place. We are in the wrong place. All we gotta do from here is get high jump boots. For the time being. I'm sure there's a shorter route that lets us get that like in one go, but I don't know that route yet, so whatever. That's lame. I couldn't jump. I tried to jump because I knew that was coming, but whatever. Whatever. It's safe right there. That's cool. And in fact, I'm going to call it a day on that one. So, thank you for checking it out. On the next one, we will head back up to uh, Brinstar. Yeah, that's where we got to go, Brinstar. And we'll see what, uh, what lies up there and wait for us. I'm pretty sure I know we're going to get up there, but 
I don't want to call it just yet. I'm always positive it's the variant suit, but we'll see what happens. So until then, I'll holla at you later.